students who have graduated recently, they will say things to me like, I'm so behind. There's no race. Stuff like this. They name 30 people who are under the age of 30 who have had smashing success. I just feel like it's really intimidating. Even if we're doing well, I always get the feeling like, oh, I could always push more and do more. It's an infuriating list. It's all about being obsessed with youth. Makes you feel like there is a race. Kara Walker, who is a brilliant artist, she won a MacArthur grant when she was 28. You cannot apply for it. You have to be nominated by somebody else in the field. The fact that you get nominated and are given, it feels kind of like this exclusive club that I'm not invited to. What about somebody like Grandma Moses, who started painting when she was 78? You don't have to be under 30 to accomplish these great things. It really has a lot to do with our vision and what's going on in here and the passion that we have for our craft. I love being older. It's awesome. All those things I used to stress about in my 20s, I'm like, I don't care. As I've grown older, I've taken more time to just like observe other people's art and observe the world and focus on other hobbies. Some of my favorite artists were people for whom what they got famous for was a second act. Leo Leone, who was a very famous children's book illustrator, he was a graphic designer. There's no correct version of when you should or should not start. The sky's the limit. I really like the idea of saying I can forge my own path. You retire and you pursue art, you can maybe have a much more calm approach to that journey. Louise Bourgeois. Later in life, she's doing these huge spider installations. When I was 25, I was not thinking like that. Are you thinking about big spiders, Jordan? As much as I love Spider-Man, I'm not thinking about giant spiders. That's not in my schedule. Steven Hillenberg, who's the creator of SpongeBob. Yeah, he was a marine biologist. I did have this one friend who was a physics professor for many decades. And they said to me, well, I don't know if I should put my physics degree on my resume as an artist. I'm like, are you kidding? That makes you so freaking cool. Like totally put down this idea that you should be only art and only artist and read art books. Like, I think that's so bad. You got the whole world out there. Why not mine from it?